The latest developments now on the Boston Marathon bombing. CBS News senior correspondent John Miller broke the news earlier today. A note left behind by suspect Joe Carson and I have claiming responsibility. John joins us now on the telephone. John, thanks for the time. Is the FBI looking at this as a confession? Well, it's a combination of things, Mike. It's um, a bit of a manifesto, a little bit of a confession, and in some measure a suicide note. You know, what he has written, not on paper, but using a pen against the interior wall of the cabin of that boat is uh, his justification for the bombing, that it was in retribution for Afghanistan and Iraq and Muslims who were um, hurt or killed there, calls the marathon victims collateral damage in the same war um, as people overseas have been called collateral damage when they got uh, caught in the way, and says that his brother has gone to paradise as a martyr, and he expected to join him soon. Now, this all happened before I actually had a lawyer. You're the former assistant FBI director. What happens if this goes to trial? If this goes to trial, there'll be a debate uh, in court as to whether his statements without a Miranda warning before a lawyer are admissible. But even if they're not admissible, this becomes a very significant piece of evidence because this is written in his own hand when he was all by himself. So what's the next step for the FBI at this point? Well, at this point, they're still trying to figure out, beyond uh, Johar and his brother Tamerlan, if there is anybody else who had any culpability or pre-knowledge or, or, or after-knowledge who was involved in either this plot or obstructing the investigation of it. And you see, of course, uh, they continue to work on question um, uh, the, the wife, Catherine Russell. Um, there were raids at, uh, at a house um, in New Hampshire today that he may have visited. Um, where they conducted searches. So this is still um, a month later, still a very active investigation. All right, CBS News senior correspondent John Miller. John, thanks for the time.